Hey guys! Oh my god, I'm back from my trip and I'm really excited to do this video because I just feel like I have so much to share with you and to like to talk about and I haven't done a video in a while so I'm really excited. This is gonna be like a, a tell-all Tell all. I don't know what I don't know what it's called, and it's gonna be sharing some things that I bought, including this bag, which I know so many of you guys are. I got so many likes on that photo on Instagram, like you guys loved it, and um, I loved it too. So I'm gonna tell you the story about it, and like it was just like the it was just meant to be, and I love those time. I love those like moments. Okay, so I have so much to tell you about my trip, and um, I know you guys were like watching my insta stories and hanging out with me so on my solo trip okay so i'm just gonna start off i'm sitting on the floor sorry if it's creaky okay um so yes i went to london and paris like two or three months ago um and then i met claire and i met a girl named alex when i was there in london did you hear that and i had such a good time with them i was just like hoping I could go back soon. You know what I mean? I was like, oh my God, like, when am I going to go back? So thank God, like Claire gave me a reason to come back. She was having a wedding and she invited me to her wedding. It was so beautiful. You guys obviously saw my Insta stories about it. I'm sure you've been watching her photos on Instagram. So gorgeous. So when she invited me back to her wedding, I was like, oh my God, perfect excuse, right? Excuse, reason to go back and hang out with my friends again. And I just feel like I didn't get enough time when I was in London and Paris. So I wanted to do I wanted to do more I wanted to do more of the same that I did so anyway that's why I went back and I was so excited and so anyway I went alone this time and it was the best it was the best trip ever it was the best trip ever I had so much fun I did exactly what I wanted to do and I have a lot to say about this too because a lot of you guys are like oh my god like you're so brave like you're so inspiring about going like I don't get that like I don't think I'm it's not a brave I don't think it's a brave thing to do like I guess if you like to be around people a lot and if you're very like I'm not that kind of person I love to actually be alone a lot I like quiet I like my alone time I like to be by myself um, so I don't feel like it, the, the word is inspiring and I also want to say that I'm gonna be brushing okay I'm gonna be brushing my hair a lot so I'll tell you why but um, I also want to say that uh, a lot of you guys also told me, oh, I'm going to totally do a solo trip because you did a solo trip. Like, I hope I, like, like, whatever. I don't think you should be doing a solo trip if you don't genuinely like being by yourself. You know what I mean? I don't want you to go and, like, think it's going to be, like, the most amazing thing ever. Like, it was hard. It's hard to, like, go to dinners and, like, always be alone if you don't like that. So I just want to put that out there. Like, it is, I liked it because that's what I like. You know what I mean? Like, I... Like right now, if I wanted to call someone to go to coffee, like I really don't think I have someone to like go to coffee with here. Like I have friends that are far and stuff, but I don't have like friends, friends, like close friends, um, like near, near friends. I don't have near friends. Um, anyway, I feel like I'm going to be going on tangents a lot in this video, so I, I'm, I'm sorry, but I want to, um, I hope I can get everything in, um, that I want to get in. I, I also want to say this, like I love okay so i know a lot of people I, a lot of people will be thinking and I, I always do that thing where i like try to like defend myself but a lot of people will be thinking like she literally only shopped and like did her did her the entire time and that is a hundred and fucking fifty percent true okay i did whatever i wanted to do the entire time and that did not include going to museums and going to um anything like that and i'll explain why that is and first i'm going to back up and say that i love anything with history. I love history. I love old. I love culture. I love cultures. I love music. I love that kind of stuff. I love it. But I feel like genuinely, like when I went to London, for example, the first, not, I've been to London when I was a child, but when I went like two months ago, not this recent time, I was really excited to go back to the Tower of London and to go to the Crown Jewels and all that. It was such a fucking shit show. The lines to get in any of these attractions, which they've now become, were like hours. And I don't want to spend four, you know, five, four or five hours, literally three hours in a line to get to an attraction that shouldn't be like that and waste my, like, a, basically a, like a half a day of the three days I'm there. You know what I mean? So I just didn't want, that it was just, it was miserable. I was so upset. I was really like let down because I remember when I was a child we went to see the crown jewels I was just so and like the Tower of London was very cool it's just been so commercialized I feel like a lot of these places 
And then the Louvre, for example, in Paris, I didn't even go. I, I, I've seen the Mona Lisa and I've seen these things and I guess I would love to have seen them again. But even the small museums like the Muse, Musée d'Orsay, it was like just crowded, so fucking packed and I don't want like... Hopefully when these, if these are, they probably never will, but you know, sometimes they make, the art makes tours. If it ever comes to LA, I will def, def be the first one in line, but I did not want to waste my time. You guys understand, like, I wanted to experience Paris. I wanted to see the video of, <laughs> see the, the, um, um, buildings. I wanted to eat the food. I wanted to see, like, what, I wanted to just see people. I wanted, I didn't want to be with a bunch of other tourists in a museum, like, trying to get up to see the Mona Lisa, you know what I mean? Like, that was not my idea of experiencing a city. Yeah, I only stayed in Paris, I did not do anything else, but then I, I did want to go to Versailles too, I know it's something I definitely will do, but I just know it's far, it's not, I think it's like an hour drive or ride or something, and I didn't want to like be disappointed if I went there, waste my entire day, and there'll be like mobs and mobs of tourists, like I just don't like that, I've never been like that, so yeah, this entire trip was exactly what I wanted to fucking do, and I'm going to tell you what I did, literally, this is what I want to do, you're going to think I'm so superficial, I don't give a fuck, I had so much fucking fun, I cannot wait to go again, I would love to do another fucking solo trip. I got up in the morning, I went, because I'm such, such a creature of habit, I went to the same restaurant to get my raspberries, as you guys would know, with my same double espresso and hot water. I sat there, I what, listened to a podcast sometimes, okay, yes I did, um, you know, I just, it, I, I took in people, I, people watched, I dreamt, I thought, and I loved it, I kept like, a, not really a journal, but just, just stuff that I wanted to do, and then, and then, you know what I did? I went shopping to find an outfit for the next day. And I had so much fun doing it. I went and bought things that I typically would never be able to wear here in LA, and I wore it the next day. I planned my outfit for the next day. I had so much fun doing it. It was the best thing ever. And that's, I, that's what I had fun doing. That's what I wanted to do. I had amazing meals. I went to the best restaurants that I wanted to go, not like Michelin star places because I don't really like like snobby food. I don't, I don't like, I don't, it's not my thing. I understand it's people, it's people saying it's not really my thing. I went to beautiful restaurants and ordered normal food, um, you know, salads, and I had like duck one time. Um, sorry, I'm brushing my hair again. But anyway, that's what I did. I stopped and I had drinks at the most fabulous um, bar. I went to, you know, George Sonk and had like the best martini. And then I went to the Ritz bar and had, you know, the Hemingway bar at the Ritz and had a beautiful drink there. This was me experiencing, and because that's where Coco Chanel would used to go. There was reasons why I went to these places. I went to Plaza Athene and went to their Beverly Hills Hotel, like, vibe um, patio. I just, there was things I wanted to do that made me experience the city the way I wanted to, to do it, okay? So, yeah, there wasn't too much culture, but it was, it was... Um, not because I didn't want to go and see these places, it was be or to go to museums, it's because it is just a mess at these museums, at these, these places where tourists go. It ruins the trip. It's disgusting. It's like 10,000 people trying to get in. Like, ugh, it's not my vibe. I don't want to do that vomit, okay? So I'm going to try and like think about the things as I go along. But I'm sure when I'm showing you guys this, there'll be so many little stories. So you guys know how I talk a lot and I have like things to share. So this is just the way my channel is. So I'm sorry. Okay, it is what it is. All right. I am wearing a shirt that I love so much. And actually when I bought this, I had no idea what it fucking said. And I bought this actually to go under a dress that I had bought the previous day. And um, I just, I saw on the mannequin, they were wearing these shirts. This is a Zedig Voltaire um, shirt and I bought a dress with it and I guess this means I don't give a shit which is so fucking perfect for me like I fucking love it so much I this is the best thing ever I had no idea until someone told me like on Insta like oh my god Alex you know that says that and I was like ah like I of course the best shirt ever and then um I'm wearing on my lips and on my cheeks. I got this Lord and Berry little stick, and I just picked it up randomly at um, Selfridges, which I absolutely love. And um, it's I don't even it's a number 62. I'll try to find it for you because I'm wearing it on my eyes and on my lips, and I just really really like like a matchy matchy look. And I'm also wearing it a little bit on my cheeks. It's just kind of an effortless thing. Um, and of course, underneath is like, you guys know I always wear color science, not getting paid for this, just it is what it is. Everyone always asks me, even in person, they're like, Alex, your skin is so glowy, like, what the fuck, is it really color science? And I was like, yeah, it's really fucking color science. Okay, 
So that's that. Um, and then all of my jewelry, I want to kind of like do, give a shout out to myself and my line. I want to let you guys know a little bit more. I really, really am trying my, I really, really want my line to start going into gold fill, a 14K gold fill and solid sterling silver options. And that's what I'm doing now. I really want to, as much as I love my designs, I really want them to be pieces that will grow with me. So I hope that makes sense to you. So all of my designs lately have been solid 14K, um, and then now gold, 14 karat gold filled is what I'm moving into. And then it just depends from here on out. I might do more um, for, uh, start solid sterling silver with the gold plating. It just depends on how expensive. I don't want my line to be like come super expensive. I want it to become affordable. I don't want to like, you know, I want to be able to, for you guys to get like an Orion or something for like $30, you know, and like be able to wear it a, like a lot and forever, a real gold. And that's why I, I do have those now. So you guys know I have Orions that are real gold filled, uh, 14K gold filled and 925 solid sterling silver. Um, but yeah, so everything I'm wearing is 14K gold filled today. And I also have everything I'm wearing in solid sterling silver as well. They're all really, really unique pieces. These bubble heart hoops, you guys are loving them. They're like my favorite. I never take them off. Um, and they're so unique. And I have bubble heart here. I'm wearing it with a long pearl as well. But here is bubble heart. And I have it on the long option. And then I also have my um, mermaid's trove, I think it's called. This is a Baroque pearl. It's a, like a real Baroque freshwater pearl. It's gorgeous. The, um, a, the iridescence, the AB on these pearls are ridiculous. Um, they are just so, so, so gorgeous. I don't know if you can tell. It, they're like, oh, they almost look like unreal when you get them because there's like so much AB on them. They're so, so pretty. And then I have this coral, this coral. This is real deep sea coral and it's in the most beautiful light peach um, like with light, white, light peach and pe and light peach and white uh, color. I don't know if you can see it. It has really cute little bumps on it because obviously it's real coral. And then I have handmade the, all the bezels for them as well. And then this is a little tiny. This is a mini bubble heart. And if you guys are confused on the sizes, I'll just tell you. This is like an 18 inch, and these are both 18, but they're a little bit off because I everything's approximately because I hand make. So any long pieces might be approximate just because it's handmade. These are 18s, and um, these are 22 or 21. So if you want like 18 or 19, if you want to stack them differently, you can totally tell me. It's not a big deal. I'll do it for you. And then this is my um, new Toujours. Uh, choker, it's a longer choker. Chokers usually sit up here. This one sits here. And it's a really, really thick, beautiful um, gold, 19, uh, 14K gold fill piece. And this is my H chain. And you guys are loving the H chain. The H chain, I named it H chain because it is very Hermes esque. And on top of it, it looks like little pills. It is so cool. I don't know if you guys can see. You can also get it in the sterling silver. And it's really, really sparkly, and it's just really, really sick. And then I'm wearing my um, meds earrings as well. And then this is my new bracelet. It's a, a thick gold chain bracelet, which I absolutely love with a really nice big clasp. And it's just for every day. It's gorgeous. And then my Chevalier. So that's it. I hope you guys are giving my line, my um, new pieces a try. You're totally going to love them. They are like the best everyday pieces. I love, I love, 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 love this Baroque Pearl. It's like my very favorite. It's so, so gorgeous. And then I've been wearing this like every single day. My, um, and I should tell you this bubble pearl is on a really, really unique chain. You guys can see all the photos on my site, but it's, everything just looks so nice together. Okay. I'm moving on now to hair. Okay. Really quick. This is like a hundred fucking minutes so far. My hair, I have not blow dried it in the longest time. I just feel like I don't know what I want with my hair is I want pretty wavy, sleek hair. And I don't know how to achieve a pretty wavy, sleek hair. Not to mention I'm not the kind of person who will spend hours in the morning like getting ready. I just don't do that. So I have found this really, really like easy, effortless way to get this hair look that I kind of like without doing anything. And I'll put the products below. I use a really good quality um, leave-in conditioner and some like hair oil that's it and then I get out of the shower and I spray it down and maybe this will only work if you have my kind of hair I'm not sure like, I'm not sure what kind of hair I have but maybe depends on your hair and I will put a perfect part down the middle and I will literally let it air dry after I do that but I the, the um, 
trick is to be training your hair the entire time like you're, it's drying. So you need to be brushing it out. The moment it starts to get like a little frizzy and thicker, you gotta brush it down and make sure it's trained, okay? Until it's like totally dry. And even use your hands with you know, like the oil of your hands will help it. And then also make sure you are tucking this really, really tight behind your ears because it's gonna dry and it's gonna give the coolest fucking effortless wave ever. So anything you guys, my hair is the entire time, like around time, like last like three, three months I think, I have not had a blow dryer because my blow dryer broke. Um, but I, no actually I do have a blow dryer, it only works on like the smallest setting. So in all honesty, I will blow dry the front here a little bit and just make sure it's really flat so like the calyx don't develop. But um, it will give this really, really perfect um, wave or like, yeah, wave. And then in the back, I guess I have like a section of hair that's wavier than like another. So I'll have like some wave here and then this place, this area will be like straight. But it just looks kind of cool. I really like it. It does look like I air dried my hair so it just looks effortless. Like, I, I don't like... I actually don't like any time I blow dry my hair. I look like a fucking penis head. I look like a helmet head. You guys know that. Like, I don't like anything anymore. So I really like the way this is going. And maybe I'll change my mind later, but this is what I'm doing now. So, okay. I'm going to move on um, to the bag. I know it's like, I told you guys it's going to be a story time tell all. Okay. This is what it is. I hope you like it. All right. So I did have the best amazing vacation ever. Just doing me, I bought some bags, as you guys know, and I like have no regrets about any bags at all. But I think, honestly, God, my favorite bag happened on the way home, and I went to my the tax free thing, and I like you know turned in the tax receipts and all that, so I could get my refunds, and um, I got like you know a, a huge wad of cash back, and. I was like, of course, walked through duty free, and I was like, ah, I never like anything to duty free. I trust myself. Like, I don't, so I don't spend money unless I really, really, really love something. Like, I, I know that. So I trusted myself, and I was like, went into um, Chanel, and I looked around, and they had some cute things, they had some nice things, but nothing I was going to like buy. And all of a sudden, I saw this on the lower shelf, and I was like, oh my god, like. It, like really it is the most gorgeous thing ever you guys know that I am in love with these Chanel silky bags I call them like silk or satin bags it's like made out of like a Chanel scarf or something I don't know um, I have a smaller one that you guys love I wear it um, here and there and it's definitely one of my all-time favorite bags I always said if I find another one that I love I will buy it and what's even better is that I really, really, for the fucking longest time, have been looking for a bag that I, like a huge bag to take to work to, I don't have a big, I don't have a large bag. Like, my Antagonia that I use for traveling is, like, my large bag that I go to. Plus, I know, I mean, I have, like, Balenciagas and, like, shit like that, but I just don't, like, I don't, I'm not, like, drawn to those bags. So I wanted a bag that I um, can use every day. And I saw this and I was like, just, I was just, oh my god, it was the perfect bag ever. So it's just so fucking cool. There are so many things about it, but I want to show you the bag. I honestly don't love this that much. I wish it was just a chain. It looks a little bit, it, you know, it could have gone from like Portofino on the beach and they took it to like hippie with this, a little bit too hippie for me. And then the strap is um, like that, which I don't mind this. I think this is very cool actually. I like it, but I don't, I don't love 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 this I wish it was just a chain but let me show you the back ah, it is like the most fucking gorgeous thing ever fucking pink and white Chanel sign like it is to die for I, I hope this doesn't like start rubbing on my dark clothes and you know, probably will I don't even know but it's huge it's gorgeous and what's even better about it is even though it is huge because it's slouchy it doesn't look so huge and um, you know these big huge like mega um, bags that Chanel is doing right now I feel like they're really strictly only for travel like if you carry those around you're like complete freaking psycho unless you're traveling but because this is so slouchy it, com it compacts more you know what I mean so you're, you're able to like wear it more um, frequently and um, different places okay so I'm gonna get going and tell you guys what's in this bag I have a lot of things that I bought so that's what I wanted to show you guys things that I bought it's not everything obviously I'm not gonna show you clothes that I bought and the bags that I bought like I'm just I'm not gonna do that like I don't know it's like it's like way too much to share but these are some things that I bought that I've been actually carrying with me and I've had this one since traveling so I did get these Gucci glasses I got them at 
um, Gallery Lafayette, and I'll tell you guys where I got everything because it's a it's a trip down memory lane for me. Wishing I was still there. I have indigestion again because you guys know when I talk, I go bring I bring everything. And it's fucking weird. Like I don't know why I do that. Anyway, I really like these. Like I, they, I don't. I, I showed you guys these too on my Instagram, and I was like, should I get them? And everyone said yes. And they're so fucking pointless. I hate when I see girls wearing these. I'm like, you are so. Like, really, bitch, that is such an extra addition that you don't need on your face. Like, take one thing off, please, you know what I mean? But I, I don't know why I like them. I hate them. I really fucking hate them. I, I, but I love them. I don't know what it is, and when I see other people wear them, I, like, cringe at it. It's so try-hard. But I love them. Like, I don't, I love them. I wore them last night, too, just, like, we went to get, like, takeout. Like, it's just, like, a casual place. And I wore them there, and I just, like, just wore them. And I, it was, like, so pointless. I felt, like, so stupid wearing them. Um, but, but I love them, but I just look so stupid. Okay, then I'm going to show you this too because it was in my, um, in my bag when I took it out to spray. This is something that you guys helped me with too. It's the Dior perfume and, um, everyone told me to get this certain one that, oh, let me see if I, I don't think I have the sample that I did not get because it was just too heavy for me. You guys, a lot of people were, I, and that's how I was like, whoa, like we really, yeah, this one, Oud is Oud is Isafan Isan. Okay, this one. Okay, you guys, know I'm talking about. I can't fucking pronounce it. I really can't pronounce anything. It's so stupid. Um, but it's too heavy for me. But I got it as a sample, and then she gave me like um a free travel size. And my second favorite one was Grand Ball, which a lot of you guys told me to get too, and I love Grand Ball. Um, I love it. And I'm going to tell you a story is that when I got back to the hotel and I sprayed my, this, uh, so I chose this one. I chose La Colle Noir, I think it's called. And when I got back to the hotel, I was like talking to my friend. She's like, which one did you get? And I told her and she's like, oh yeah, it's like not my favorite, but it's nice. And I sprayed it and I was like, oh my God, I fucking hate it. Like I made the biggest mistake ever. Um, I literally hate it. And I like I was almost sad because like, it was a big deal for me to get this like, I really wanted it and I really wanted to have like perfumes that reminded me of my time there like I'm very into smells and like music and like just that kind of stuff and um, I love it now I love it. it I fucking love it so it wasn't a mistake and when I when I spray it it totally reminds me of like walking around Vendome okay like I love that area that's where I stayed and I just love that fucking area okay and um, this is what I got it reminds me of it so I'll try to put the link for this because it's gorgeous and it's just really I got the small size because they're really fucking expensive um okay the next thing I got oh yeah when I was in London I discovered a brand called Bimba Ilola and I had no idea what this was I'd never seen this brand before and they had such cute accessories like really cute accessories you guys know I love like very cute accessories um, and um, I got some things I got like gifts for friends there and I got like, a beach bag because I never go to the beach and I got this wallet I really really like it it's very good quality and apparently it's a Spanish brand I, this is my first time seeing it so I got this and I got some like um, crazy earrings and I got just some, like I got some random like really loud shit like I got this um keychain this is my keychain from Bimba Lola and I um I really wanted to get a sweatshirt but they didn't have my size so I didn't get that uh yeah so love that this is my glossier I think I don't know why that's in there um and then I got this which I am so obsessed with it's like the shape of a gun and it's by this brand that a lot of people know and it's like, oh, yeah, Fuare La, pa La Page, La Page, Fuare, okay, I, I literally should never be allowed to say anything in French because I fucking sound like such a, like, fucking typical American and I hate that, but I just can't, like, not, I, I, I fucking botched it, okay, but it is so fucking sick, like, it's so badass, I love it, it's like, psh, like, fucking gun, like, I love it, it's so cool, so, oh my god, here in LA, like, everyone would probably hate it, but, um, I'm gonna, like, hang it on the side of my bag I just fucking think it's so cool and it's like baby pink so it's cute and they have different colors too they have like green black yellow they had a bunch of different colors but it's so sick I love it I got that got this from galleries Lafayette too um and then I have this which I got which I want to talk to you about some makeup 
oh my god, the best restaurant ever. I met this really nice subby there when I was at Plaza Athene having lunch and she came up to me and she's like, listen, she like scolded me, I loved it. She's like, listen, you have to listen to what I'm telling you. You have to go to the place I'm telling you because we have the same um, taste and you're gonna love it. I was like, okay, okay. So she sent me her list of places and I went to Lulu, this place called Lulu, on my last night there for dinner and I had the most romantic dinner all by myself in the most beautiful area. It was like, I was surrounded by historic buildings and it was like a museum, like the, it was a museum around me, it was like a Vendome area. Um, I, and it was so close to my hotel too, so it was just nice to just, like, I walked everywhere pretty much. Um, I went there and I just, um, I sat there alone in the most beautiful outdoor area with like those perfectly groomed Parisian kind of trees and lawns and um, the Eiffel Tower was in the, like the very distance and it was just so gorgeous. The food was amazing. The drinks were gorgeous. They came in like a big bubble glass with just, you know, with fresh, was, everything was fresh. It was gorgeous. I had, um, for, I had a salad and I had a main. I never do that. I had like a, like a salad with anchovy and um, tuna, um, just with like very light lemon vinaigrette. And then for dinner, I had just, um, spaghetti pasta with basil and marinara sauce, very light, most like, what's it called, al dente pasta, like freshly made ever, oh my god, it was so good, I, I, I texted her the next day, I was like, you were so right, thank you so much for your recommendations, I'll remember this place forever, you guys should go, go here, Lulu. If you're going to Paris, it's totally worth it for like a splurge or I, I'm not sure if it's too expensive actually. I don't remember. Like I wasn't honestly really doing a budget when I was there, but um, it was like too fucking die for. Hotel Coast. This is like, I'm doing no matches that I took. Hotel Coast. Please fucking go there. Please go there as often as you can for um, their crab salad. It's fucking expensive. It's like a $60 salad and you, it's like, it's so nothing, but it is so amazing. Get that and their french fries. Um, and like an Aperol spritz and just sit there and ask for an outdoor seat or at least a seat along the outdoor area. It is just, ah, uh, it is just, okay? Like, it is just. Um, okay, the next thing I want to show you guys is this book I kept and um, I think I'm gonna start doing this on, I don't, I don't travel a lot, you know what I mean? But when I travel, it means a lot to me. So um, I bought this book when I was there and I thought I was gonna sketch some designs and things like that, which I did, but I used my um, moleskin book instead. I got this and I started collecting things in here just from places and I wanna cut, I'll go through and show you guys because it's fun and I'll show you guys everything. So, um, I want to, I should do one by one. Okay, for the first page is this place, it's, it's another place that girl recommended, but I just actually ha just kind of like stumbled upon this. This is a little coffee place called Honor, and it's not like amazing, it's nothing, it's cute, and it's near like the good shopping, so it's, it's nice to go. So you guys should take the notes, okay? This is notes. Don't ask me where to go later, this is it. <laughs> um, the Ritz London, I stayed there the first night. Um, I stayed there for, when I went to Claire's wedding, I stayed there the first night and then I moved hotels the next day because it's like really, really expensive, you know what I mean? It's not really, really expensive, it's just like, uh, I don't know, it's, I don't know, okay. Next one, I went to, a, I stayed in a nice hotel in, um, in Paris. Okay, the next one is this receipt from George Sank. It's like one of the most, it's called George V most bougie hotels in Paris and it is really 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 just lovely and it's just fucking bougie and I had a drink there and then this is a, a napkin from Pret coffee and it, Pret is everywhere I don't know if we have Pret here in the states I'm not sure here is my um, ticket on the way there my boarding ticket and then so now whenever I want to like just think about my trip. I'll just come back here and look at all these things. This is a little recipe that I found for yogurt dressing and it looked bomb, so I saved it. Are we seeing, guys? Are we seeing? Are we seeing? Okay. Then the next thing is, um, this is a Bimba Ilola uh, tag that I saved it because I love the brand. Here is my um, Galeries, oh no, Bon Marche. I went to Bon Marche again. It's like one of their, um, one of their malls there, or malls, what's it called? Department store kind of things. And I loved it last time, but this time I couldn't find anything to buy. Um, 
And then this is the Hotel Plaza Athene coaster. And the Lulu business card. And um, here is the George Sunk, George V, the fifth um, little place thing, uh, coaster as well. I want to tell you guys something, actually. Um, if you're going to travel alone, I'm not saying you shouldn't. I'm saying you should, but just don't like do it if you are like someone who likes people. Just don't bother. Um, you, I just don't want you to like not have a good time. That's what I mean by that. Um, so for example, when I went to Lulu, I didn't make any reservations, but I figured if you're just like one person, you can just go and be like, oh, hey, I'm here by myself. So she was like, no, I'm sorry, we're full. And like, don't feel, don't be afraid to just be, be like kind of beggy. I was a little bit beggy because she almost turned me away. I was, she's like, well, I can't put you here, but you have to be out within an hour because we have like so many people coming. I was like, that's fine, that's fine. Um, so I almost didn't get in because you know what I mean, but just don't be afraid to be like, oh, I'm here by myself. Like, um, you know, I'm from the States. It's my last night. Like I did that and she was like, fine. Um, she was really nice in the end, but here is actually, this is a rip from the, I'll, I'll tell you guys later cause I have their billfold in the back, but this is the place I went to every single morning with the raspberries. It's on Rue Saint on honor favorite street ever. Um, Moschino like receipt holder, which is chic. Uh, and then Christian Dior receipt holder and the Hotel Coast which is a must you guys must go there the, the uh, crab the crab don't go to La Avenue La Avenue which is like one of the hottest places to go now for dinner um, I've given it two ch two chances as far as like their food and service and it's horrible go to Hotel Coast it's owned, they're owned by the same brothers but I just feel like La Avenue is not nice like I don't like it and it's like touristy too like extra like kind of like like not good tourists like I don't know how to explain it, but like tourists, like people who I see in LA, I'm like, ugh, like, why are you here? Not like I didn't know anyone, but it's just like I felt like LA vibe. Okay, like I'm not, do we not want to have any taste of LA when I'm gone? <laughs> this is a Herod's card. And then this is a mess demo. It's like, this is a brand, like a tag from a, a dress I bought. I bought some, I bought two skirts, a dress and a skirt from that brand. Um, Hermes, like information stuff. And then Herod's receipt, it's like very bougie, right? And then um, the same, okay, and then my, what is this? The Ritz Paris um, napkin that I wrote on it for my free shipping. I took that picture, you guys probably remember. And then here it is, here's the place that I went. It's called La Le Castigno, Cast okay, here it is. Pause it and read. I cannot pronounce this. It's very difficult for me to pronounce things with T's, G's, and L's all in one. Like, blah, blah, blah. I don't even know. Go here every day if you can for breakfast, for whenever you can. They have the best Aperol spritzes too there. They come in like a mega glass and they make them with champagne. They're just amazing, okay? So that's that. I shared like my trip with you. Um, and then I got this too. I got some makeup, which I really love. I found this at Selfridges. It's called Make. I don't know what it is. It's, um... I, I think it's, yeah, it's, a, it's, an English, it's an American brand and I'm buying American products in abroad, how stupid. But I, didn't, I hadn't seen it. And what I like about it, it's called the Custom Finish Effects Matte and Dew. So if you wanna be dewy, you can rub this. And if you wanna be matte, you can rub this one. So it just kinda depends. You wanna be like matte here and like dewy here. Like really, really nice. So that's that. I'll try to find links for everything. I will try. Um, and then I also got this this because I saw it on Instagram and I was like, oh, I really want to go to um, the Rue Cambon um, Chanel store, but I don't really want to like buy anything from there because they, I feel like they're really pushy in there. I went there, I went in the Rue Cambon and it's so, everyone there is a fucking tourist. Like everyone's there from LA, like literally from LA. Um, I went in there like for last time I was there and the guy was like so pushy on me, like trying to fucking fit, buy, force me to buy something. I'm like, fuck you. Like I'm gonna fuck alone. I was like, bye bye. Um, so I went there because I saw this Instagram. I was like, oh, this would be nice to go and like get something from there and like just see it. So what it is, is it's the palette essential in the light. And I went to, uh, Gallery Lafayette to get this. They only had medium left because I think it's like very popular right now. And what it is, it's a palette for your entire face and it's super effortless. And I saw a girl on Instagram using it. So I was like, oh, that's so fucking cool. 
it's like a, like a little concealer and then a um, shine like a dewy and then a lip and cheek and eye so don't be afraid you guys what I'm doing now is I'm putting like this for example I wore it on my eyes several times eyes lips and cheeks and then some concealer and some highlight and it's really nice so don't be afraid to put like a non glossy or even a glad of a glossy um, lipstick on your eyes it's so pretty and it's very effortless to like have matching ma matching eyes and lips just looks like I don't know it looks effortless and then I have of course my HRH AB pouch these are with all orders over $35 all jewelry orders over $35 because they're for jewelry and um, oh, I got this uh, by make too it is the best color ever it's called pot blot in rouge and I've been wearing it on eyes, lips, and cheeks as well. It's just a really, really nice natural color. I fucking love it. Actually, I'll just put some on right now so you guys can see. Right? My foot, by the way, is totally asleep right now. It's like completely dead. I feel like a fucking, I feel like I'm like, my. I have like no leg. Okay, then I got this. Um, it's a power bank. Remember that power bank that looked like the Ramoa bag that I bought? That thing like collapsed. It was so mad. Like it didn't collapse. It just doesn't work anymore. Did you guys buy that one and it stopped working too? I'm so pissed. So I just got the one that was top rated on Amazon, the Anchor. I don't care. Whatever. It's stupid. Um, and then I bought, oh yeah, the gum. Oh my God. Okay. Best gum in the world is this gum. It's called Freedent White Bubble Gum, and I only have one piece left, and I've already made a claim on Instagram with you guys, a plea. I never ask for anything, and I don't like accepting gifts because I just feel so awkward, like, like why are you sending me gifts? Like, oh no, like, I just feel like that's too, too generous, you know? But if you are feeling generous, I would love if anyone would send me this gum. I bought it in Paris, and I thought I bought two packs, but I got the wrong one, and this one is just regular mint. mint. So I, <laughs> I only have one piece left. One piece left at the bottom. Ugh. And my P.O. box address is in my information, if you guys are asking. Like, I'm so desperate, sorry. I would never ask for anything, I promise. Um, and then I bought this pen, which I really love. Um, I bought this pen in London on um, Marleborn, Marleborn area on that street, which by the way, there's really, really hot guys there, so if anyone's single, I felt like every guy was like very hot. Um, okay, so this, I love it, I don't know, what, what's the brand? It's um, Lamy, I don't know, I think it's like an Italian brand, but I love it because it's like skeleton, and it's a very nice pen, I just really, really like it, it's clear. Okay, also I want to ask you guys, this thing came in my Chanel bag, and it's like an envelope. What is this for? Is it for cleaning like the the hardware? It's a fucking pointless thing. I don't know what it is. Can you tell me what this is? I have no idea. It came in my bag, so I'm keeping it in here. And that is it. That is it. I hope I didn't forget telling you guys anything about my trip. Um, I I didn't like. I'm not the kind of tourist who like goes out and like tries to talk to people or like. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, oh, hi, I'm an American. Like, hey, what are you doing? Like, you guys, oh, I'm here by myself. Like, no. I just think that's so, like, that is so, like, people that, so, like, you know, people who are, like, backpacking through Europe, like, that's what they do. Like, bitch, I'm here to just fucking do me, okay? I'm not here to, like, be, like, making, like, other, like, tourist friends. I don't know why. Like, is that weird? Um, but that's why I had, like, no photos of any, like, I can't imagine, like, I can't imagine being like, oh, can you take a photo of me? Like, that's so weird. Oh, actually, I don't like it. Can you take one more? Like, <laughs> I don't know. I could never imagine that. So I just like kind of just like, I don't know. I was just totally there for me. It was so much fun. If you guys like have, can like do that. If you are just very, by, what's it called? Like, in, like you're very like, comfortable like being alone like you like being like with yourself then I would totally totally fucking do it just go if you want to do my trip okay if you want to do my fucking trip just go straight to Paris actually <laughs> actually no oh I want to talk to you one more thing one more thing I want to talk to you one more thing I want to talk to you about um 
Elon coffee because my friend Alex who own, owns Elon, like I just really really love her and I want to talk to you about the coffee because if everyone was asking me about what coffee I'm getting there. So it's her, her name is also Alex and she has a coffee that she gets there all the time. It's oat milk and um, just the exact right amount of maple syrup latte. Well, if you are in near in Elon and they, I think they're opening up some in LA soon, oh my god, so excited. If you are in Milan, go and it's, there's always lines out the door. So if you don't want to like wait wait to sit down like I don't, I would just take it to go. Um, go get that. Ask for Alex's drink and it, you guys will not be disappointed. It is the most amazing thing ever in London. Okay, that's I wanted to mention that because everyone, well, everyone, so many people were asking me like, what drink do you get? What drink is that? Okay. Um, so what was I gonna say about, okay, if you wanna do my trip, if you wanna do my trip, fly straight into fucking Paris, okay? Get your ass off the fucking plane and go stay. Okay, I didn't stay at the Ritz because it's so expensive, but if you can, stay at the Ritz. Uh, if not, stay somewhere in Vendome. There's a, like, there's a lot of, I, I stayed at the West End, Vendome, which was totally nice. Like it is, West Ends are always like, just, what's the word, like safe and up, up, you know, like they're just nice places. It's not like a shit hotel. Um, and my room was like very pretty. It was super small, but just totally fine. Um, but go there and then go to that raspberry place in the morning, which is literally right out, right around the corner. Um, go to Bon Marche, go to Galleries Lafayette, go to Hotel Coast, go to Lulu, go to, oh my God, go to Cafe Kitsune for coffee and just sit in the groves of those trees and veg and have fucking cigarette if you want, okay? Like I did and I got fucking Raymond for it, okay? Um, so lame. And what else can you do? What else, what else? That was one of the things that stick in my mind the most. Walk up and down St. Honor Street. Go in, like, I, I'm, I wouldn't recommend going into, like, the stupid, like, bon, uh, Rue Cambon fucking Chanel store. It's like everyone and their mother from L.A. is there, like, bleh. okay. Um, go to Mess Demoselles, I think it's called. It's, like, a brand with, like, really pretty, like, I don't know. What else? Okay, what else? I don't know. Those are just the places that stick in my mind now. You can go to, like, um, there's a, a piece of hair. Um, I don't know. Those, those, are, those are the places that are sticking in my mind. I'll go to Plaza Athene. Um, go there for, right now they're doing that Beverly Hills, um, Beverly Hills and Dorchester collection. They're doing the Beverly Hills Hotel like like breakfast or like like lunch vibe. It's really, really pretty and cool. And they have like a similar menu to Beverly Hills Hotel. So it's like you're in Beverly Hills Hotel, but you're in fucking Paris. Um, what else? Did I say go to, yeah, go to the Ritz um, for a drink and sit on the patio or go to the Hemingway bar and just get like an Aperol spritz and sit there. Um, and I didn't really go to the other side, like the left bank or whatever, because last time we went there, I saw two muggings, okay? I saw two muggings with my own eyes over there. And I know that's like the more artsy district and stuff, but I just was like, oh, like it's a little bit like not bougie. Like I want to be like super bougie this trip. And like I went over there and I had lunch there and it was like complete shit. Like I tried to go over there and I was like, eh, like I don't know. It, just didn't, it wasn't like bougie enough. I know this trip, I just wanted to veg and just be in a beautiful area and a beautiful scene and just like pretend I was like in the you know what I mean just like pre be out of my world be out of my element okay so that's the truth and you guys know I'm very honest with you so um oh also go to Pierre Hermé the um macaroon place and get there just ask say which are your three most popular ones and get those and I did and I listened to the girl and I was not flavors I'd usually get and I loved them get the pistachio too it was so good Ugh, there's just so many things to do. There's so many fucking things to go to Pret. Go to Pret Coffee if you're in London or if you're in Paris and get the coconut fucking latte. It's so good. So good. Okay, I have to go now because <laughs> I think I want to like blow the world down. I love you guys so much. I hope you like this video. Go check out my line. I hope you love my new things. They're so pretty. Um, yeah, okay. Love you guys. Bye.